Hey friends, it's Hope and I'm back today to do a three for three. So if you guys don't know what this video is, I'm going to attempt to do three non-spoiler book reviews in three minutes. The first that I want to talk about is Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. This book follows three kingdoms as they hang in the balance on their quest to all rise to power. Their fate relies on four uniquely captivating characters, a princess, an heir, a rebel, and a sorceress. This YA fantasy novel has been hyped up all over booktube, but friends, it was worth all of the hype. This book is told from four different points of view and it is filled with death and betrayal and political corruption, unlikely alliances, and forbidden love. I mean, what more can one ask for? It was fast-paced, thrilling, angsty, and filled with heart thumping and heartbreaking moments. I rated this book a five out of five stars and people say that the series, it just gets better. So I'm just expecting greatness for the rest of the books to follow. The next book that I want to talk about is Let It Snow. This book is three Christmas anthologies revolving around an epic snowstorm occurring on Christmas Eve. Our first anthology told by Maureen Johnson follows a girl whose parents have just been sent to jail over getting in a brawl for some hard to obtain flobies. So our main protagonist is then forced to spend her Christmas with her grandparents. So she is forced on a train, but while en route to her grandparents, the train cannot get through the storm. So she ends up relying on a stranger that she met in the Waffle House, who ends up opening her eyes to a whole new world. I rated this anthology a four out of five stars. The second anthology told by John Green follows three friends as they venture out into the snowstorm to get to this Waffle House because it is filled with hot, distraught cheerleaders from said train. Through this adventure, no one thought that finding one's true love and a lifelong friend was a possibility, but in true John Green fashion, the reader gets a good laugh at how unworldly and naive our main protagonist is. His nerdy personality and how unexperienced he is made this anthology really funny. I also ended up rating this anthology a four out of five stars. The third anthology told by Laurie Miracle follows a distraught girl who has just broken up with with her boyfriend and it is all her fault. She's trying to rectify the situation and find her way back to him. And I did not enjoy this one as much as the other two. I ended up rating this one a three out of five stars. I just found this one wall very realistic. Our main character, Addie, wasn't very likable. She was a little bit stuck up and narrow-minded. So I just didn't care for it as much as the first two, which were filled with a lot of humor. And for the last one, I want to talk about The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier, which is a story inspired by A Thousand and One Night. In a land ruled by a murderous king, night after night, he takes in a new bride, and by sunrise, the bride has been murdered. Our protagonist, Shahrazad, volunteers to be the next queen with full intentions on avenging her best friend's death. But when she starts spending time with the king, she starts to see past his murderous and treacherous ways. So while this story was a little bit tough for me to get into for the first 100 pages because I felt it to be very unrealistic, the last half of the book blew me away. I loved how diverse this was in the setting and with our characters. I love the beautiful quotes that were just sprinkled throughout this book that I have been plastering all over my social media. And I also truly loved the unlikely love story within this novel. If you guys are looking for a diverse book that will give you some really conflicted feelings on the inside, I definitely suggest picking up A Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier. While I did start with the audiobook, I ended up switching it to my Kindle. The audiobook did help me learn how to pronounce and say all the words that weren't in English, but the audiobook just did not do the actual book any justice. I ended up loving the characters and really adoring the friendships that came along with it and who would have thought I would have fallen in love with the murderous boy king but I did so for that reason four and a half out of five stars for this novel I cannot wait until book two comes out in May all right friends well that does it for my three and three let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books and what your thoughts were until next time I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'm sure I will see you soon bye